Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to this month's next series of mini-sodes about hiring, recruitment, and the interviewing process. So if these are things that interest you, stay tuned for the next few episodes that we'll be releasing over the next few days. Enjoy the next segments and let us know if you have any questions or if you'd like to hear more from our guests. What do you look for in a resume? Is it pink and does it smell nice like Legally Blonde? <laughs> <laughs> do they spray Bath and Body Works for yeah. you on a resume before they hand it? <laughs> Any preferences? So, so she just took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. Um, darn it. Okay, let me think of something else. For me, I look at their experience. Mm-hmm. If they have any. And then also, you know, just background, right? Because a lot of things that they may not think would relate to the job would relate. Because mm-hmm. um, there's a lot of skills you pick up along the way. And they're, I think they call them soft skills now, right? That people don't think about. Yeah, there's so, skills that can be transferred from any job. Here's a great example. Say you're working at Wendy's right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not too glamorous, but you want to get into, you know, the science field. And with us, we do a lot of social interaction with folks. With stakeholder meetings, you know, those type of stuff. So you really need to have those customer service skills. Well, those kind of things you would learn at Wendy's, dealing with the public every day. And those skills are transferable. And I kind of look at that going, oh, he, they worked at Wendy's, so they have some customer service skills. They were a cashier. Well, they have some money handling skills. They have attention to detail. I mean, it's a lot of things in there that you don't think about that would apply, that do apply, and that we look at. So don't feel discouraged like, oh, I got to write down Wendy's, but don't. It's actually better that you have something than nothing. Right. And one thing that I look at uh, with resumes also is, I don't want to say they're hobbies, but what they do outside of work. You know, what kind of volunteer work do they do? You know, like Bob said, you know, do they work with groups of people that they know how to interact with different customers? And so I tend to look at that sort of thing. Yeah, that kind of goes back into the culture thing is like, do they know how to work life balance? Be a team. <laughs> right. Yeah. Be a team, be a part of a team and communicate in that environment. Yeah. yeah. Are there any red flags on resumes that you're just like I am so excited. <laughs> <laughs> you're just like Hold up. <laughs> like something that would be an immediate no. You're like, I cannot even read the next paragraph. For me, there's some on there that come across as a little over the top to where everything they've done is so far over the top that it becomes unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Like, do you still talk to those people? Or, you know what, I mean? what if they are just like really great? I, 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 I'm I almost selling themselves too much. Too much. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Don't oversell yourself too much. A lot of people try to do that or they try to embellish mm-hmm. the resume a little bit. And I would really advise against that. Right. Just tell just the truth. Just be honest. Like if yes. you're a cashier at Super Saver, maybe don't put that you handle multi-million dollar corporation funds. Right. <laughs> Exactly. Don't, don't try to, you know, overcomplicate or oversell what you're doing now, right? Just be honest about it and, you know, realize we all started somewhere, right? Yeah, you want the facts. Grammar is important. Spelling's important. It's a good yeah. thing you didn't read my resume. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on the job that you're applying for, you could be writing reports. You could be mm-hmm. writing pamphlets or brochures for the, the general public, public to see yeah. and so that kind of is very important to think about when you're doing your resume my personal thought if you're making a resume you should be able to use spell check <laughs> <laughs> what if i submit a handwritten resume do you have good handwriting Ooh. <laughs> But not only that, I mean, then you can also go into the handwriting analysis of that particular handwriting sample, right? Oh, my Cause, gosh. Because <laughs> then you can totally un- get a sense of what their uh, the personality is like based on, you know, the loops. and They're right-brained, 50% serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> we have a psychologist on deck just for that. <laughs> just in case.